Hey there, John here, and it's the final countdown! Deadlines. I have been at war against deadlines since I was a little kid. For some reason, the concept that things needed to be done by a certain time on a certain day never really took. So I became a professional crastinator and mastered the art of waiting until the last possible minute and still getting away with it. I once gave a presentation in college that I literally finished outside the door one minute before the class period started. And I got up and I gave the presentation, not flawlessly, but I magically incorporated every mistake into the point that I was trying to make, and everybody told me that it was the most well-planned, well-prepared speech that they had ever seen in their life. And that drove me crazy. Now, looking back on the presentation from five years ago in terms of how it affects me today, it really doesn't. Whether I finished it in the hallway outside, or whether I finished it the night before and got plenty of sleep, it wouldn't mean that there's a limousine in the driveway instead of a Corolla. But here's what it does mean. It means I let myself develop a pattern of procrastination, and that was only one on a long list of times where I fed the bad habit and starved the good one. And as a result of how beefed up the bad habit got and how wimpy the good habit stayed, I am still to this day procrastinating, even on the projects I make for myself. So, if you're in the same boat, here's what I've learned. If you absolutely, positively cannot help but wait until the last minute to work on something, then change what the last minute is. So let's say your homework is due at 9 a.m. on Friday. That does not mean that you have until 9 a.m. to work on it. Your favorite show is going to be on at 9 p.m. on Thursday night, so your deadline is to get it done before your show comes on. If it's the dreaded project that's not due until the end of the semester and you have like three months to work on it, that is a buffet for procrastination. You've got to create your own deadlines for your planning stage, your research stage, writing, editing, all of that and you have to make them for a lot sooner than three months from now. And it gets a lot easier if you make a habit out of every day spending just a couple of minutes to make sure you're on the right track with that. Now, don't do that because school or this class or that project is the most important thing in the world. I mean, they are important, but they're not the end-all, be-all reasons in and of themselves. Do it so you learn the habit for yourself. Do it so you don't spend the rest of your life staying up all night working on something you could have gotten done yesterday. Do it for your sanity. Your future self thanks you. Toodles.